What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to use the Arduino IDE to code with your Raspberry Pi Pico or Pico W. Now, by the end of this video, you will be able to write code in the Arduino programming language on your Arduino IDE. And we'll be going over a simple example with this library by Earl Philhauer on how to do this. And thankfully, it's really easy to set up. But also before we get into it, I just want to say there's many benefits of using the Arduino IDE with the Raspberry Pi Pico or Pico W. First of all, from a visual perspective, some people may have preference to use the Arduino IDE. Secondly, you will be coding in the Arduino programming language, which is a, a variant of C and C++, and some people may have a preference to use this programming language. And thirdly, it may be more efficient even over MicroPython, which is commonly used on the Raspberry Pi Pico or Pico W, to use the Arduino programming language from an algorithmic perspective because it is known that C and C++ can be more efficient than MicroPython. And before we get into the actual code here and getting this set up, I just wanna say if you haven't, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel, that would mean a lot. And also even better, you can consider donating to the channel to continue supporting the content. I'll link that down in the description below for you to donate, that would be great. Enough being said, let's jump into it. Okay, so the first step getting started is I just want to assume you have the Arduino IDE already installed. I'm using a Mac, but if you're using another type of device such as a Windows or Linux, the, the steps are essentially the same thing. So the first thing you want to do is you want to be able to install the Raspberry Pi Pico W or Pico Boards Manager by Earl Philhauser. And that's really easy to do. I'll link this down in the description below. So pretty much what you're going to have to do is you're going to have to add a URL to his GitHub uh, repository into your additional Boards Manager on your Arduino ID. So you may have done this before, you may have not, but this allows you to essentially install third party board managers to your Arduino IDE. So using a Mac, what you want to do is you want to go to Arduino IDE, you want to go to settings, and that's actually your preferences, and you want to click additional boards manager URLs here, and you want to expand it. And you can see I already added the link here to his GitHub repository, which allows us to add the Arduino, or the Raspberry Pi Pico boards. And you just want to click OK after you do that. And one thing to note is if you are watching this video in the future, this may change based on how he changed the path to his repository, most likely not. But if you can't, if you're having issues finding this path, go ahead and do a quick Google search of Earl Philhauer if you're watching this video past 2023, and you may find it in a different um, URL uh, extension. So once you have that, you just want to click OK, and you want to click OK here. And by the way, some tutorials online are telling you that the preferences is in the file, and you can go to File Preferences, but I couldn't find that in the Mac version. Maybe it's different on a Windows. So just keep that in mind that some tutorials online kind of mislead you and say that the preferences is here. But no, you, you actually have to go to the settings to access the preferences, at least in a Mac. So once we have that, you want to go to the boards manager on the left here, and you want to search Pico. And then you just want to install the library here by Earl Philhauer, or the, the board manager. And now you will have access to get started with your Raspberry Pi Pico on your Arduino ID. So that is the first step. Okay, so now that you have your environment set up, the next thing you want to do is connect to your device in the Arduino IDE. So before we do that, we want to open an example we'll be working with today. So go to File and go to Examples. And they already have predefined examples that we can use to test our device. And this example is Raspberry Pi Pico W specific because it is a Wi-Fi example. So just go down to Wi-Fi and click Scan Networks. And this is just really simple code in Arduino that allows us to scan networks in vicinity and see what networks we have close by, that is internet connections. So once we have that open, what we can, what we can do next is we can just go select the board that we have installed from Board Manager. So go down, go to Board. I already have it selected, and you just want to go to Raspberry Pi Pico slash RP2040, and I already selected the Raspberry Pi Pico W, but you can see there are a bunch of other ones, including the Raspberry Pi Pico regular. Next thing we want to do is before we actually plug in the Raspberry Pi Pico W or Pico, we want to hold the boot cell button, which is the only clickable button on the device, and we want to uh, hold that and plug it in at the same time. And this will allow the, the device to mount onto our computer. And we have to do this for the first time for the Arduino IDE to recognize it and establish a COM port with the device. So once we did that, what we want to do is we want to go to Tools. We want to go to Port again, and we want to select the UF2 CON port UF2 board. So that, that is what we have to do the first time we're coding with the Arduino IDE. And after that, you can just select the, the COM port. So I want to go ahead and try to upload this the first time. So let's go ahead and click Upload. Now what's gonna happen is it didn't establish a COM port yet, so we're gonna get an error. And then we're gonna have to go back and select the, the COM port that it generated for us. So that's a little uh, finicky there, I feel like, but that's the only way I got it to work. So just wait for this to compile sketching and for the output to be shown. And then you could see that failed uploading, no upload port provided. That's because it 
It was the first time it connected to the Raspberry Pi Pico or Pico W using the Arduino IDE. So let's go back to tools and let's go back to port. And we could see that, um, yeah, that is weird. So let me try uploading it again. Typically you see a COM port that it generated, but I guess that time it didn't. So let's give it a sec there. Okay, so this is the area you should see, no monitor available for port protocol UF2 conv. So I'm just gonna go back to tools, go back to ports, and you could see that it generated a new COM port, okay? So once it generated this new COM port, that is the port it'll use to communicate with your Raspberry Pi Pico or Pico W. So I'm just gonna go ahead and select this. And sorry, I know that is a little finicky, but um, maybe this library is not the most robust. That's the only way I got it to work is to um, use the boot cell and wait for it to generate a COM port. So once we have that, we should be able to upload once we selected the COM port that it generated to the device. So let's go ahead and upload it. Okay, so this should work. No upload port provided. That's interesting. Um, let me go ahead and select it again. One more time, and that should work. Um, I just got this to work before this video. So um, I guess things start to break down before you start filming YouTube videos or while you start filming YouTube videos. So it is, I think it is working this time. So perfect, so it is, it's done uploading. And what's happening is it's logging on 115200. So let's go to tools and let's go to serial monitor and let that open. I don't know why it's not letting me open my serial monitor now. Okay, okay, finally. And now just give it a second. It should start logging to the serial monitor as I am speaking. And you could see that what in the Y loop it is logging the network, so that is perfect. So that being said, I hope you guys learn how to easily connect to your Raspberry Pi Pico or Pico W using the Arduino IDE. We had a little rough end there, but I hope you got the gist of it and I hope it works for you. If it doesn't, let me know in the comment section down below or if you have any suggestions for me in filming this video or any suggestions for future YouTube videos. And if you did enjoy this, please consider like, comment, subscribe once more and donating to the channel. I'll leave that down in the description below. As I always say, stay tuned and thanks for watching guys. Take it easy.